Hi, today I will be making a soccer ball with um, flings following it, you know, like if it has just been thrown. So the first thing that I do is I do the round um, sphere, the white sphere, and I'm using Diamond FX face paint, which I've noticed it tends to go a little bit translucent once it dries, if it's in the arms especially if I've only applied a thin layer. So I like to apply a, a thick layer of it. It does take longer to dry. However, if I do this first, if I do the bowl first and then I do other designs, that's usually enough time for it to dry so that I can come back and do the sucker details. So now I'm doing just the second layer. Initially with this paint I had an issue that um, it had like a pink tint because I had used some red on the white So I had to clean it up and that's why it took longer than usual So now for the flame I'm using a tag split cake And I'm just using a regular uh, painting sponge, you know This one I got it from the craft store And it's what I had handy at this point but I, I find that it does load paint really well so with the black I'm gonna do more of the flame details and then I'll come back to the ball now to do the details of the soccer ball I found that it helps to do the first uh, shape as large as possible uh, because that way it gives you room to do everything else and I've also uh, I used to think that the pattern was identical for all the shapes in the soccer ball and then I realized that the black part it's a pentagon it has five sides while the white parts are a hexagon they have six sides so I try to just do the pentagon first and then I do the hexagons around it so that it, I only have one uh, big black part and then all of the other ones are gonna go on the like third layer if you consider this a circle so I don't have to do the full um, black filling on those layers and that's pretty much it. I'll hope you like it.